Okay, so let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is wash your fabric. You wanna wash it the same way that you're gonna typically wash it because shrinking does happen. So you wanna just get that out of the way so you don't have any surprises once you have everything measured out or whatever, and then you find that it actually is not, um, the fabric is much shorter after you wash it, okay? We don't want it to become too small after it fits perfectly when you sew it. So take the time, even though you may not feel like it, I know it can really, but it doesn't take that long, you know? Um, but you want to wash your fabric first. After you've washed it, you want to iron it, okay? To make sure that you're dealing with the true, you know, length of the fabric. Once you have it ironed out, you want to um, go ahead and lay it out flat. I folded it in half. You can see here it's folded, okay? And I'm just going to lay it out. I'm going to take his jeans and I'm gonna fold them, okay? So the crotch part is poking out like that, you see? I'm gonna lay that down on the fabric, like so, okay? This part, the pointy part should be sticking out. It should be folded as neatly as possible, okay? And straight, okay? You wanna, if you wanna make them a little bit roomier, Okay. Then you want to cut along the outside, and you're just going to follow the lines of the pants, okay? You want to give yourself a seam allowance, okay? And then when you see it start to poke out, you're going to just follow that. Just like that, okay? So you should have, when you're done cutting, you see this end here, how that is corresponds with that there, okay? And we just follow that across. You wanna follow the shape of the pants. Cut that out. Okay. And I'm gonna just cut right here because this is a seam here. I'm just gonna cut that off, okay? Okay, so the next thing that you wanna do once you've cut out your pants is you wanna then flip them over. Don't move the fabric. Just flip it over, okay? As, while it's laying down, okay? So now we're gonna get the other side of the pants. And you see, this is all you need right here, okay? Your fabric is full. So I'm gonna have all this left over. Once I cut that out, I'm gonna have all this left over. All right, so what we're gonna do at the top, and I'm gonna continue to cut across this, okay? Because this is gonna be where my waist is. I'm gonna cut that over and give room. Now, so that it's perfectly lined up. We're just gonna go, and it's the same seam allowance. I'm gonna go ahead and just um, cut. And you're gonna fold that. Take this in and fold it right over so it's even. Okay, and all you need to do is just cut it straight across the top. I hope you got, hope you got that, okay? Um, and then we're going to just go ahead and follow the same line and cut that out. So you want to just go ahead and cut down, okay, now that it's folded over. This way you don't have to worry about like, how much seam allowance that I have. This is going to be equal, so the two sides are going to be identical, okay? What you want to do, when it's all done and you unfold it, it should look like this okay you see how that is you see how it has these pointed edges okay once your fabric is cut you want to pin your right sides together so you see this messy side that's going to be on the outside because this is the side we're going to hem and our two um 
the size that you want to keep, the size you want to show, we're going to pin those parts together once it's cut out. Okay? And then you're going to lay it out flat. Lay the pieces on top of each other. From the bottom. Okay, and we're just going to pin straight up all the way around you see okay we're going to get all the way around all right the sewing machine and i'm just going to sew stitch where you see the pins at the top you're going to leave this open okay this is going to be our waistband you want to start with a forward stitch in the back stitch okay get started. and then you want to go ahead and just go along you go super simple you with you know you're just gonna sew all the way around easy enough right okay don't forget to back stitch in the beginning because that keeps it from unraveling okay and then we're gonna go ahead and get in there get that curve and continue to sew and once you're done this side it's like algebra what you do to one side, you've got to do to the other. <laughs> you know, I'm a former teacher. Okay. So, go ahead and down. And it's going to be the same way on the other side. And we're going to go ahead. This is going to be the legs. Okay? They're going to, these are going to separate. So, we're going to go ahead and actually cut straight down the middle okay now we can either let out that seam or we can just go ahead and cut starting at the bottom you want to go ahead and cut those legs make sure everything is even because you don't want it to be lopsided or anything like that and we're just going to cut it okay Super easy. So once you're finished cutting up the middle, it should look like a pair of pants here. Okay, so you want to go ahead and from the top, this is, you know, like the crotch part, you want to go ahead and just start pinning that, pinning it in place, okay? From the top on down, all right, really, really simple to do. So we're back. Okay, so once it's all sewn, okay, we have the whole pants sewn to the top and everything, up the legs. Then we have this part at the top. We're going to fold this down. This is going to become our waistband, okay? What we're going to do is fold it down like so, okay? Just like that. And we're going to pin it. But we're going to leave a space in it, okay, where we can feed our elastic band through, okay? So I already took the, this is my morning time. My son isn't up yet. So last night, I actually measured his waist with the elastic band, okay? And I cut the band to fit his waist. Now you'll see this is not perfect. That's because it's going to stretch, okay? Right? It's going to stretch. What we're going to do is we're just going to pin around here is still on the wrong side we're going to pin this this right side is just going to fold over on the wrong side and we're going to leave a little gap where we're not going to pin that way that'll leave us room to feed the elastic through okay so once you finish um pulling your elastic through your waistband you're going to remove the safety pin 
and you're going to attach these sides here together and bring them to the machine. Okay, so we're back and now that we've got our elastic band sewn in, we want to just get our pants hemmed. So you can see how you want yours to fall. It depends on the length you want. I want mine more of a capri pant look. So we're still on the wrong side of the pant. And what I'm going to do is fold it up. Take this. I'm going to fold it up. I guess that's um, about two inches. Okay, still on the wrong side. Remember that because when we turn it over, we're going to have a nice clean line for the cuff, okay, for where we're going to cuff it. So we're going to fold this up, and we want to make sure that they're pretty much equal. We don't want them lopsided, okay, and we're going to iron this in place. We don't need to use pins for this because we're just going to iron it flat down, okay. We're going to iron that down. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is we have it all hemmed, okay, and we're going to just fold it up so we have our nice little cuff and we're going to iron that in place, okay, so it looks nice and neat. So we don't need any pins for this. It's already ironed. I'm just going to show you how to do it, okay. You see that there? We're just going to fold it up and iron it down so it looks nice and neat, okay. And here's our finished product. Looking pretty cute there. This is just one of the looks. So if you wanted to dress it down and make it more casual. There is Phoenix. Ready? So if you want to dress it down, it can be casual. And he can wear it with flip-flops and a little t-shirt and a button-up. But we're also going to switch it up and add a tie. So we'll Let's, give you another look. We'll be right back, okay? Don't go anywhere. <laughs> What's your What's your chicken in your head? Watch your hate new body thread. Every time you move, lose 